I'm just going to talk about a couple of the main riffs for um, Get It On, Bang It Gong by T-Rex. Um, there's an arrangement in uh, the Wednesday Night Youth Group Facebook page for Fan Guitar and Ukulele. Um, and if you look at the very beginning of it, uh, Section A, the intro, it's just a little vamp on uh, this riff right here. Uh, if you bar the 4th fret, I mean, barring the G and the C strings or the fourth and the third strings on the fourth fret, and you're going one and two and three and off. So fourth fret, uh, grab the sixth fret of the G string, and then play those two strings open, and then four and six. last two are just a chick or something uh, like a mute and then the open strings again. Four, four, six, open, four, six, chuck, open. And you don't have to be like super accurate. It's uh you know as long as you're in the general area of these two strings. Um, and you can do this with your thumb or your index finger or whatever is comfortable. Um, so section B, the main groove, this is like the, the most recognizable part of um, Get It On, probably. So for this we're going to use a barred E chord. Um, bar the fourth fret all the way across with your index finger. And then with your pinky finger, grab the, the, um, the high E that's at the 7th fret of the A string, or 7th fret of the 1st string. So you can just kind of hang out on this shape for a while. And we're going to use, uh, whoop, there they are, thumb and index finger. I'll show you from this end. Um, down, up. Um, we're going to combine down strums, up plucks, and some, some muting. So, first off, uh, for beats one and two, down with the thumb, up with the index finger. One, and. Then for beat two, mute, you're going to chuck down with your index finger. And then follow down with your thumb. It's almost like a, it's kind of like a pinching action. So, you've got... to beat three, which is just uh, plucking up basically like on the, the E and the A strings, like the first and second strings. So one and two and three, down, up, down, down, up. Um, and then beat four is another down, down, index, thumb. Uh, and then the second half of this riff, we're going to pluck up, 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 down, up. I don't know if you can see this, if the light is bright enough. Um, so you've got up, up, mute, up, mute. Open, one, four. So just barring sliding across from the open uh, G and C strings, 1st fret, and 4th fret. And this kind of brings us back to our position for the, um, the E major bar chord. So all together, it sounds like this. part to work on the most. We're always going to return to that riff. Um, 
the rest of the song is a little simpler. Um, section C, the verse. Um, it's kind of returning to the intro riff. Four, four, six, open four, six. Also, add my ring finger. Let's see if I can get a little more light on this. Add my ring finger to the second fret of the A string and take it off. Then I'm gonna use my pinky finger to grab the third fret of the E string. So this is coming from uh, from that very first riff again. And then I go right back into the main riff from section B. We're going to use bar chord forms for G major and A major. So uh, for your G major, bar the 2nd fret, middle finger on the 3rd fret of the E string, and then ring finger on the 4th fret of the G string. It's almost like a bar and then you're making an F chord next to it with the rest of your fingers. So that's G, and then slide it up one, two frets so that your pointer finger is again barring the fourth fret, but now you've got this F chord shape next to it. And that's an A chord, that's an A major bar chord. So you've got G, A, and then back to the riff. Um, if you want to get fancy, you can use your pinky to grab the 7th fret and off, 7th fret and then, uh, and then pinky off of the E string and then do the same to the C string. So you've got A, on, off, on, off. So when you put it together, um, you get, get it on. It's hard to sing and play the same at the same time. Get it on. Bang a go. Get it of the song. Uh, the song structure is kind of, uh, it's pretty repetitive. It's at the intro and then the main riff and then you got verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. And I think there's a break that's the intro riff again and then verse and chorus and you can fade out or, uh, you know, play the chorus four times and just kind of, kind of end on a, on an E major chord. Um,